Hello and welcome to another episode from the Advanced Business Show. This is your host, Amar. I thank you for stopping by and checking out our own show. Now, uh, please note that you can check the description below for the different services we provide in advanced software. So now, in this uh, episode, we will talk about something that you are hearing more and more recently. And like maybe you are thinking about using or doing. And one of the things that maybe, again, maybe in the future, will take place and will be a major thing inside the world. So we're going to talk in this episode about cryptocurrency. So now, let's talk about the cryptocurrency. What is a cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a short for the cryptographic currency. Now, why it's called cryptographic? Because it's, uh, let's say protected by some cryptographic practices that make it secure now uh, you for sure heard about bitcoin and the different uh, uh, digital cryptocurrency that is getting popular each and every day now uh, let's talk uh, a little bit more about bitcoin now bitcoin was the first uh, digital currency out there it's it's uh it's a start date to back to i think uh, uh to 2009 it was released at 2009 first thing first the first time it was uh, created by a guy called satoshi nakatomo nakatomi now uh, nobody knows his real identity yet some people claim they are this person but for sure we don't know his real identity yet so now uh, that guy uh, created something called white paper that white paper introduces a way to send decentralized money from uh, one person to another now let's dive more like into technicalities of the cryptocurrency uh, let's take bitcoin so bitcoin uh, it's not, let's call it, a fiat currency like the US dollar. It's a digital currency. It's stored online. Now, how you get cryptocurrency and how you send the cryptocurrency? You have something called a wallet. The wallet is a unique address that is provided uh, by maybe uh a crypto exchange or uh, some smartphone apps and so on this unique address okay will be able to send and receive uh, uh cryptocurrency without uh, anybody interfering or uh, anybody uh, like manipulating it and uh, like except its owner now that unique digital address okay uh, is uh, available let's call it online uh, you have somebody or you give it to somebody that somebody send the uh, money to you online and uh, like uh, via the network of the uh, participating nodes for example uh, bitcoin you have a group of network, a uh, network of computers that is competing to verify this uh, transaction. Now, these guys get some money in exchange of verifying your transaction. So, uh, you send or somebody send you the money. Uh, it is stored on the blockchain. The, the proof of work or the proof uh, of uh, yes of work network start working and they verify that this hash has been added it to the entire blockchain now let's talk about the blockchain the blockchain is a series of uh, let's call them a blocks and they are in a chain like series now the first one the first uh, uh, 
block chain uh, is called the genesis okay and it's connected to the second one now you can't break the point and try to insert a new block uh, like separating uh, the first and the second transaction you can't do that it's need all to be in series that's why it's like a secure and nobody can manipulate it so uh, you have transaction one transaction two they are connected if a new transaction added is connected to transaction three and so on and they keep on going indefinitely now nobody can break the link in half nobody can change anything inside the block chain and it's also like always verifiable so this is like uh, an inside look of how cryptocurrency work now uh, after bitcoin has launched there are many other uh, cryptocurrencies available uh, for example we have ethereum we have uh, uh, ribble uh, these are the top three uh, cryptocurrency according to the uh, to the market cap we have uh, Mourinho we have uh, uh, Binance coin and so on so there are many many coins out there now uh, the crypto market is very vital okay or vitality its vitality is really really high like uh, Bitcoin price was in March of this year was maybe three four thousand dollar after uh, five months only now it's about eleven thousand dollar so the price fluctuate really really quick so if you are thinking about investing and uh, buying Bitcoin you might wanna like understand this now uh, the cryptocurrencies uh, or the main advantages of uh, using cryptocurrency it's decentralized okay and you can like send money to anybody around the world without the need of my of bank account within just a few minutes and with a really really low fees comparing a traditional transfer uh, transfer now also you can save a lot of money if you are like uh, if you like converting money from a currency to another it has it's all like it might go up but go it might go down the value that you receive and take but uh, with the cryptocurrency you can guarantee that at least there are no fluctuation between the amount sent let's say from a fiat currency to another no you are sending the same amount of money all over the world so that's like a really really quick uh, introduction for uh, cryptocurrencies and how you can uh, like use them to your uh, work and advantage now uh, uh, cryptocurrencies as well uh, uh, like uh, it can be used for uh, different activities you can like receive payments on your website or send payments to someone via cryptocurrencies uh, but like the main problem with the cryptocurrencies is the price fluctuation now uh, you send a US dollar you receive a US dollar okay the cryptocurrency you might send uh, a dollar you might receive 95 cent okay within just five minutes because the price really really fluctuate comparing the fiat currency now you can also uh, like trade cryptocurrencies and maybe that's like why it's getting popular because some people like they do some trading on uh, cryptocurrency like it has a much lower barriers to entry for example a stock market you might need to be 
an accredited investor and you have some certain requirement no cryptocurrencies anybody can go in uh, put any amount of money he likes like for sure there is some minimums from the exchange maybe $50 and so on but uh, these like these are really really low barrier to entry and anybody can go and start investing in the uh, cryptocurrency world so now uh, the nice thing about the cryptocurrencies, it has a limited account, uh, amount. F uh, for example, there is a certain uh, amount uh, of bitcoins out there. There will be no more issued crypto uh, or bitcoins more than that. Okay and uh, like that's what's make it at, uh, like a little bit uh, attractive for like uh, uh, for like using it and so on so now uh, uh, we can also use cryptocurrencies uh, or we have some new features on a cryptocurrencies uh, for example, on the Ethereum network, you can create what's called a smart contract. Now, what's a smart contract? A smart contract is a way to send out money programmatically based on a certain event. For example, uh, you can uh, program your smart contract to receive uh, or to send money in case someone sent you a certain item. Now, uh, smart contract uh, has their own security and they are hard to manipulate as well. Not impossible for sure, but they are hard to modify uh, because like you can program them yourself and have them uh, like under your own control. And it will not execute unless it meet a certain condition. Now. I think this is what will actually make the cryptocurrency a really high competitive advantage comparing other ways of payment because uh, you can literally uh, program and like send out money based on certain conditions uh, and so on without anybody manipulating it and unless like you get what you actually asked for. For example, uh, if someone uh, like uh, said that they sent you item, but like the proof of work uh, did not confirm that this item is uh, created or sent to you, the smart contract will not send them money. And also this way, like the other party can assure themselves that uh, if there, uh, like there is uh, a condition that if it's met, it will be directly uh, for them uh, like to send uh, money and so on. Now there are many, uh, many, many uh, applications and so on for uh, a cryptocurrencies. Uh, and uh, <coughs> there are many networks and uh, for cryptocurrencies that like does it uh, in a smart way and so on now uh, for example uh, facebook is trying to introduce its own libra uh, cryptocurrency for the public now uh, why use a cryptocurrency uh, again, the cryptocurrency is much more liquidated than cash on the internet. Okay, uh, it's like easy to send, easy to receive. There is a really low amount of fees on sending money. For example, if you're losing PayPal, it take maybe two, three percent from your profit. Between sending money via the Rebel Network, take less than maybe a cent for the. I don't know. Again, this is just uh, an example. Maybe the less than a hundred uh, dollars. So a hundred dollar, you pay less than a cent, and it get 
verified within just a few seconds imagine that that's fast but like what's uh, stopping cryptocurrencies to uh, enter and to be used as a main stream item and mainstream thing is uh, some of these issues now first thing first uh, the anonymity with it for example i can just download an app on my smartphone and create uh, this wallet with this certain address now nobody knows who i am and that's one of the major issues with the cryptocurrency you can't tell who's this address for or who is using this address or who is this person and what he is using it for so these are some uh, one of the issues uh, which which is stopping from uh, like the cryptocurrencies from being used now uh, after that is regulations now there is no real regulations to help cryptocurrencies to be mainstream in the world now there are some like some projects like the U, uh, digital us dollar and so on it's like coming as a cryptocurrency but it's like supported by government and so on <coughs> sorry so uh, these some of the issues with the uh, cryptocurrency and also like the liquidity of cryptocurrency like you can buy uh, bitcoin but if you wanna convert bitcoin back to us dollar it can be like uh, a, a trouble for you it's, it's not very easy sometimes now i think uh, recently is recently it's getting much easier than it was before like you can weigh it was very hard to acquire cryptocurrencies a few years back now there are many websites that you can just use your own credit card and they will send you cryptocurrencies uh, to the address or the wallet that you uh, want to use now uh, <coughs> for uh, for the uh, also some of the issues with the cryptocurrencies as we said uh, the liquidity and the again we already mentioned this the vitality of the token because the price is not uh, stable for some certain cryptocurrencies now uh, let's talk about some uh, new generation of cryptocurrencies okay now we have first f thing first the stable coins now we have some cryptocurrency coins that is uh, represent uh, a real value for example we have the, uh, the tether coin represent a single us dollar so each coin is a us dollar uh, we have some new projects for like cryptocurrency backed with gold and so on and like their price is depending on the price of gold and uh, other precious metal so like you can buy maybe some uh, bitcoins uh, and then like if you later on wanna just like stay out of the vitality you can just uh, make them uh, tether which is just a plain us dollar per each coin it doesn't it change so these are like some of the things that you can do with the cryptocurrencies now uh, a lot of people ask how you can buy cryptocurrencies now there are many websites out there that does for you this uh, one of them uh, one of the well known is the binance exchange you can like uh, buy your tokens and have them uh, stored on the exchange itself uh, now you can also like have some if you are advanced user you can store your tokens on your smartphone uh, on some uh, specialized hardware and so on uh, now also uh, about cryptocurrencies uh, cryptocurrencies uh, again is still not yet mainstream because like the the huge vitality 
that we are seeing in the uh, market now uh, how you can uh, make some money with cryptocurrencies some people just buy and hold and hope for the best or like they hope like the price of the tokens will rise dramatically now bitcoin was few cents back at 2011 or 13 if i remember correctly there were just a few cents now it's uh, averaging 12 uh, us dollar 12000 us dollar so uh, you can do as similar as this but uh, again you need to do your own research you need to look at this coin uh, like the coins that you want to buy and hold and things will go slow for you like it's gonna take some time to have the price rise for the token uh, and as well as uh, uh, like you need to have a solid research now there are many so called gurus and so on that they recommend these like you go and see these videos and these uh, technical analysis uh, on that this token that uh, price will double within just few weeks or days or month and so on now in my opinion and i've read a ton of these uh, it's all nonsense it's just only some promotional material for a certain coin from a certain party so my recommendation if you want to uh, go into that uh, game do your own research uh, usually to evaluate a, a certain cryptocurrency okay uh, you go to their website and they have something called a white paper now a white way a white paper as we talked about it in bitcoin it explains why this uh, this uh, token exists and what are its capability okay you need to look into these and see how these things actually will uh, affect you or like do these guys actually have a, a certain vision and so on if you wanna buy that a uh, crypto uh, currencies and again like be really careful there are many many people out there they claim to be uh, gurus experts and so on and like what they say is just a huge nonsense just a promotional material to get you buy uh, some certain coins and uh, like uh, and they like buy it as well and when the price uh, rise these guys exit the game and you see like your coin uh, price crashing okay so just be careful now again not everybody but unfortunately uh, i've seen a decent amount of people does the same thing and it's it's not something that you wanna uh, take risk on and so on now there are some educational materials out there for free uh, on YouTube you can just understand the crypto market and, and how things are going there now one of the main benefits or let's say one of the advantages of the cryptocurrency market it's 24 7 uh, on the uh, around the clock working now some exchanges out there like they have working days and so on uh, cryptocurrencies exchange is never close it's the 24 7 uh, ongoing uh, and it goes up and down that's why it goes up and down really quick because it's 24 7 available for anybody to buy and sell so that's uh, that's the episode for the advanced business show uh, this week i hope that i give you some knowledge and uh, uh, experience on using uh, cryptocurrencies uh, if you want to invest <coughs> in them it's not a bad idea just understand the vitality don't worry about the price it changes up and down up and down it's it's the way the crypto market is 
اوكي فوكس اون ذا لونج تيرم ثينجز كان جو ريل هاي اور ريل داون بس اتس اوكي اتس اوكي اتس لايك ا ستوك لايك ذا ستوك يو باي ستوك سيرتن ستوك فور سيرتن برايس اند ذا برايس تشينجز سيم ثينج فور ذا كريبتو ماركت دونت وري اباوت ذس Uh, and make sure like you do your own research and make sure you know how you will uh, liquidate that asset how you will transfer to fiat or whatever way uh, like you want to use it and like again still it's not mainstream yet we don't really know what will happen in the future uh, like <coughs> If it goes mainstream, it will be like maybe much easier to do payments cross borders and so on, and it can like uh, help you uh, with your business, with your work, and so on. Uh, so that's the episode for this week. I hope that uh, I give you some nice information uh, on the cryptocurrency, uh, like. The format of the advanced business show I'm thinking about changing it. So, for example, like uh, for this week, in the past week, unfortunately, the guest had not the chance to come, so we did not do the episode, and I was sick as well. So sorry for this. Now, uh, also, uh, Let's say uh, we're gonna change the format of the advanced business show to be more dynamic, to be like uh, a weekly episode that has more than a single segment or less just interviews. So I hope that you will like the new format. So thank you for watching the advanced business show. I hope that we will see you in the next episode.